Peggy 16. Hello world, DB Sinclair here with your boy Shaq. What up? And we're here today to show you Arena Mode. Shaq, tell them all about it. Arena Mode is the new free update to Evolve that takes the hunt of Evolve and turns it on its head. In Arena Mode, you start off in an arena, so there is no hunting in this, in this game mode. You start brawling immediately. And how many possible arenas do we have per map, Shaq? Yeah, we've got five different arenas for each of the 14 maps in Evolve. These have all been handpicked by the development team for just maximum combat areas. Arenas are, are tight, close quarters combat, and uh, this is where you know your monsters and your hunters can really flex those combat skills. And arena mode is best of three, so potentially seeing three of those five arenas per uh, interaction here. Yeah, best of three here, Dave, and, and that's key. It's not just one fight. So you take a win, you take a loss, you learn from it, and you adjust in your next round. Uh, for the monster, he can adjust a bit more than the other hunters can. Uh, a monster player can reskill their skills before going into a match. So say you took th triple rock and triple fire and that wasn't working for you, you can spread out your skill points for the next round. Awesome, but other than that, the character's locked in for the duration of the best of three. Uh, the mobile arena is obviously a longer uh, time than normally in game. Yeah, Dave, it actually is never gonna drop. So you are stuck in this mobile arena. It's really gonna force the fight. There is no backing down from fights when you're in the mobile arena. But, you know, there is still some of that strategy and stealth play that you can do. You know, the hunters and the monsters do not start out looking straight at each other. So you have time as a monster player to sneak around, perhaps get a little nibble of food, or as the hunters to set up some traps, you know, awesome. using Bucket and Maggie. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of good choices here on both sides of things. Uh, so a lot of hunters that can uh, lay down traps, slow down the monster, but also make the monster visible. Uh, so Daisy actually, even though uh, they're not tracking the monster right now, could potentially be a great choice here in the mobile arena. Oh, Daisy is a great extra lifeline, you know, helping other of the hunters up. And, uh, you know, sometimes a monster gets real stealthy and looking at Daisy will help in these mobile arenas. Now the monster here has the opportunity to switch his skills, but I think he's feeling a bit confident here and he wants to go back in and just try brawling it out one more time. So the collection tanks here, the name of this mobile arena, uh, which I think is pretty cool because now these uh, specific locations on the maps have developer named names. So next time you're in the game, you can point to a specific area and say, hey, I fought a good arena here in arena mode. Let's drop another one here and catch the monster. Yeah, and looks like the monster is going to be collecting bodies at the collection tank as he is going in on them. Uh, this round, you know, he's, he hasn't changed much other than just really landing his attacks and taking it to their face. Uh, you see uh, Daisy's already down and now support's down as well. And so the monster can actually stage up as well in their arena and get to stage three if there's enough meat and enough incapacitations to give him the energy to do so. And sometimes it's a smart way to go. You know, sometimes, uh, People aren't as into quick matches. They want to draw it out. They want to get one, maybe two incapacitations, head back, get some more armor, level up, and get more of those skills at your disposal. Uh, but this guy right here is just going in. Uh, and this is actually what I like to do in arena. You know, I really I really love brawling. You know, that's, that's my favorite part of Evolve. And so I feel like this mode was built for me. Um, and, you know, just taking the fight to them and just having no reason to back down, really. Right. You know, the, the rounds are short. You can get into a match really quick, and it's a best of three. So if you if you fail the first time, you go back in there, you get your head straight, and you, you take it back to them. Torvald doing a great job of dodging as the rest of the team is on the ground. Uh, this could be a win for the monster, taking us to game three. Yeah, and I'm hoping for it. And looks like he took Torvald down, and that is a monster win. So one to one, Dave. And here we go, going for the, the grand prize. You do see the pop-up there to change abilities, but once again, the monster is going to stick with the same abilities here in uh, game three. I, you know, I respect it, Dave. You know, uh, having confidence in the build you've taken, uh, not backing down after one loss, realizing that it worked well in the second game, and then, uh, you know, also seeing if the hunters have what it takes to just to, to figure out that build and, sure. and fight back. So far, so good for the hunters. They're setting down traps. You've got Bucket here with sentry guns, Maggie with the harpoon traps. Uh, nice little safe spot up there for the hunters to work from. 
Yeah, this is a this is a good fight, and uh, you know Goliath is one of my favorite monsters to take into these arenas, and and this guy is really putting the hurt on. Oh, and big rock throw, Dave. You know I'm a fan. <laughs> a person who can land a rock throw, I've got much respect for a well placed rock. Lots of bodies falling, including bucket and wildlife that could potentially be some armor for the monster later in the game. Yeah, and in these mobile arenas, it's nice to not have to worry about trapping the monster. You know, I like to see evolve as two phases of the game. Phase one is when you're hunting the monster or running away from the hunters. And phase two is once you've trapped them, is that actual combat. You know, now that they're in the mobile arena for the amount of time that they're in it, uh, actually focusing on doing damage. And here we cut straight to that. Uh, so the monster already knows that he has to just go in and fight. Uh, and it's just it's just a nice change of pace, Dave. You know, really getting in there. And it's a good way to learn and, and perfect those combat skills. He does pick up a little combat armor there, which I always love to see from a monster. Uh, moving in on support, support already with two strikes. This could be it for Bucket. And down he goes. And Dave, you know, I like what you're saying about that combat armor. It is really important in arena mode to, to stop and not smell the roses, but actually get some armor in the middle of the match. You know, even if it's one or, or half a meat. You know, uh, whatever you can get, a little bit of armor is going to go a long way in these battles. Stop and smell the corpses, quoted by Shaq here, in the arena mode reveal. Uh, one thing I do like to see in the mobile arena or in any fight in Evolve is the hunters using all of their abilities to not just do damage to the monster, but also keep the monster confused and on the run. Using that uh, support group cloak, the acceleration field from Kyra, are great ways to fight the monster in close quarters. Yeah, and arena or not, here the monsters come, and they're uh, monsters. I mean the hunters, and the hunters are taking it to the Goliath right now, and looks like this is probably going to not end in his favor. Very close to getting assault down finally. Uh, Leap Smash is going to miss. He could go get some meat, but instead he turns around throws the... A uh, rock there, which you like to see, Shaq. One but... big last-ditch effort on his yep. part, and looks like he goes down. Hunters win, and the first arena mode game has been won.